A lot of couples who want children can have fertility issues. Some consider alternatives such as in vitro fertilization. Elizabeth Shores tells us about a Lincoln couple who expanded their family using IVF. Ryan and Tabitha Darris have been fostering for years, but knew they wanted to eventually have children biologically. When they found out it wasn't possible for them to have children naturally, they considered their options. They had explored fostering to adopt, but they were told the ultimate goal of fostering is for kids to be reunited with their families. About a year ago, they decided to look into IVF treatments. The discomfort, the drive back and forth, like it's a lot and it's very overwhelming. Um, so to be on the other side, it's just kind of like, okay, we've done it. The Darrises were referred to specialists for treatment. Initially, they thought they'd be able to receive care in Fargo, but when complications arose, they ended up going to CCRM Fertility in Minneapolis. They say they made five or six trips between their home in Lincoln and the clinic, about six to seven hours each way. The trips could last for a while. One was over a week long because there was no way to know for certain when Tabitha's body would be ready for the next procedure. They say they feel lucky their insurance covered IVF treatments and that their family, friends, and work were so supportive. Ryan says this was especially true of his supervisor. There were times where I said, you know, tomorrow I might have to leave or tonight we might have to leave. And there was normally no questioner. Uh, yeah, she was very accepting of it. <laughs> Tabitha says physically, IVF treatment was incredibly difficult. She says she looked and felt pregnant while undergoing treatment, even though she wasn't. But she says for them, taking Eliora home made all the multi-step procedures worth it. In Lincoln, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for Your News Leader. The Darasas say they ended up paying more than $25,000 after insurance.